Hi, in this video we will see how we can create an automatic download bot for downloading the data from a website. You can see that the page is being loaded automatically and then the download button is clicked automatically and the save file button is automatically clicked and the file has been saved. So let's get started. We would be using the tool called Auto IT. Search for it on the web and then you can download it. It's a freeware tool and it's quite small footprint and it's very easy to use. So there are different ways to install this package. The first one is using a setup. Just click on the download option and it will install all these features. Also install the full version of the script editor which is very important and the main part of the tool. There's another option to install it by using a self-extracting archive. You don't really have to do any setup. It just runs from a directory. We have the auto IT already installed now. So let's get started. Search for the Skitech editor. Open it up. And I'm writing a small script called shell execute. And I want to open a website. So let's click on F5 or click on the Go button. It's opening the browser automatically and it's loading the page which we specified. And we can see that this page has a graph and it also has a download button where you can click and then actually download the data. So let's try to automate this part of downloading the data and saving it on your computer. As we noticed that the web page took some time to download, so let's add some delays so i'm saying sleep 7000 so 7000 means it's 7000 milliseconds which is seven seconds so to go further we need to find another tool called info so just go and search for auto it window info and this tool will help you to locate the mouse cursor So let's, let's click on the mouse tab and then click on the finder tool. You can see that wherever your mouse is going, you can see the position in X, Y coordinates. And if you double click it, it gets copied and you can use it in your script. So let's write a mouse click. We're going to click the left button and the X, Y position, we just copy using control V. So now, it's going to open the browser, sleep for sec seven seconds, and then click at the location which we have specified using the mouse left button. Here we go. We notice that we have to actually go down three times by clicking the down button three times so that the download data button on the left hand side is visible. So let's simulate this by repeating the mouse click three times and every time we click we will put the system to sleep for one one second so let's simulate this now system is going to open up my browser is opening up it's sleeping for seven seconds then it's going to click the button three times and we would notice that now the download data button on the left hand side is visible to us and that's what we wanted now let's open the info tool again now we want to find the location of the download data button position which is this and you can notice that the position has been given we'll just double click which will copy it and then we can use it now in our script so again mouse click left button again and this is the position the xy position of the download data button which appears on the web page again system will go to sleep for one second so once again let's run it system is opening the browser waiting for seven seconds three clicks click on the download button and we can actually see the save file option now so let's go further we would now try to find the position of the save button which is this again we have the xy coordinates double click to copy it onto the clipboard and on our script again click the mouse click option again we're clicking on the left button and the XY coordinates. Putting the sleep for two seconds because it took a bit longer to appear. 
let's run the script again and everything is happening again three clicks download and we have the save file option now we can where we can specify the file name so let's assume that you're going to download this file every day so we want the file name to have the timestamp the date and timestamp using the minute hour month of the day and month and the year feature and putting some text at the end as .csv and then we can send this file name to the text box and again sleep for two seconds and then at the last we just put an enter let's see what's happening now let's click on go or f5 page is being downloaded one two three clicks click on download and the file name and this is a file name which we wanted with date and time stamp and the file has been saved let's go and have a look at that we can see that the file has been copied there i hope you found this information useful and practical thank you very much for watching it and i'll see you in the next one